Hi there. Now for part C here, we're given that angle PBA is theta, and we've got to show that the cosine of theta equals a third. And to do this, you basically need to think of using the scalar product or dot product. What we've got is the point P, and we've got B, and we've got A, okay? It doesn't matter how we draw this, okay? Um, but uh, I have no idea exactly where the positions of P, B and A are, but uh, there's no harm in drawing a sketch. And we've got to show that this angle in here, which is theta, its cosine is a third. Now, if you're using the scalar product or dot product, it's very important in questions like this, though, to make sure that you get the directions of the vectors right. You've got to have them either coming away from this angle, so in other words, you've got to look at the vector b to p, so we'll mark an arrow in that direction, and the vector b to a, okay? It's important that you have them either coming away like this, or both of them going in towards the point, okay? A point that is easily missed in questions like this. I'm gonna take them going away though, okay? You could try and experiment with it them going in, all right? Now, I said that we've got to use the scalar product, and you should be familiar with this. If not, do check it out in my videos on my website. Cos theta is always equal to then the two vectors dotted with one another. Doesn't matter which way round you do it. I'm gonna do it as BP dotted with BA. You could do BA dotted with BP, okay? It's up to you. And then this is divided by the magnitude of the two vectors. So in other words, the magnitude of the vector BP multiplied by the magnitude of BA there, okay? Now, in order to get our vectors BP and BA, we need to uh, just step to the side here and work them out. Okay, so B to P, in the usual way, B to P will be O to P minus O to B. So that's going to be O to P, which we know is 0, 2, 3. 0, 2, 3. Obviously, you could do these in your head, but I just want to show some working. And O to B, we've got as minus 1, 3, 8 minus 1, 3, 8. And if you subtract those, then you get 1, minus 1, minus 5. So there's B to P. We also need to get B to A. So let's just work that one out. B to A. B to A will be O to A minus O to B. O to A is minus 2, 4, 7. So minus 2, 4, 7, and then we subtract O to B, which is minus 1, 3, 8, minus 1, 3, 8. And what do we get? We get minus 1, 1, minus 1. All right, so that's our two vectors, BP and BA. So we should be in a position to, therefore, get cosine of theta. So cosine of theta is going to be equal to BP dotted with BA. Remember to dot two vectors together. What we do is we do one times minus one there. Okay, one times minus one. And then it's plus, and then we do minus one here times the one. Minus one times the one. As I say, I'll show the working here. I'm sure you could just work it out in your head. But next we got minus 5 times minus 1. Minus 5 times minus 1. And all of that is divided by the magnitude of each of these vectors. So to get the magnitude of BP, it's just going to be the square root then of the sum of the squares of the components. So in other words, 1 squared plus... And I'm going to drop the minus 1, you don't need that, so it's just 1 squared, and the same applies to the negative 5, so it's 5 squared there. And that is all multiplied by the square root of 
the magnitude, well, not the magnitude, the square root of 1 squared, 1 squared, and 1 squared added together. But you don't have to put another square root, you can just multiply the two together. And you'll get 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared there. All right? And uh, work this out, and you'll get on the top 3, okay? On the bottom, you'll have the square root of 81. And that comes to 3 over 9, which is 1 third, which is what we had to show. Okay?